Welcome to Drawing Post's Rhino videos. In this quick tutorial, I'll take you through creating a cabochon gem template. Before we begin, let's take a look at the gem we'll be creating. I've got a nice 14.6 carat star sapphire cabochon that I've acquired that I'll be using for this project. And here I've brought it out into the sun so you can get a nice view of the star. In this quick tutorial, I'll take you through the basic process of creating a gem cabochon template for use in bezel set jewelry using Ellipse's Rhino's Rail Revolve command. Before you begin, ensure that you're familiar with the following Rhino skills, viewport manipulation, layers, basic shape creation, ortho, and O snaps. We'll be practicing more in depth in this project the following Rhino skills, the Ellipse command, the Rail Revolve command, and the Cap command. I have a star sapphire cabochon that I want to create a template for, so I can model out a bezel setting, which will be forthcoming in a later tutorial. The dimensions of the sapphire are 16.4 mm by 13.6 mm by 5 mm. I'll be using these dimensions to inform the construction lines for the project. Let's begin by opening up Rhino and navigating to the default new model template option. And now we'll set up our project. We'll name this one cabochon template. and create the following layers, cons lines and cabochon. Go ahead and delete any unused layers. Let's begin by creating an ellipse. We'll ensure that the cons lines layer is current and navigate to top view. Now I'll input the ellipse command and for the ellipse center, input 0 and press enter. For the end of first access prompt, we want to take our first dimension, 16.4, and divide it by 2, which will give us 8.2 millimeters. So we'll input 8.2, press enter, and holding down shift to engage ortho, draw the cursor straight up on the construction plane. For the end of second axis, I'll take my 13.6 millimeter dimension, divide it by 2, and with the resulting 6.8, use that. Input 6.8 press enter, and click on the construction plane. I have now created the ellipse that will form the rail curve for the shape. Let's create an arc now that will form the profile curve for the stone. Go to front view, and ensure that quadrant O snap is turned on. Input the arc command, and choose the start point option. For the start of arc, snap to the right quad point of the ellipse you just created. For the end of arc, the cabochon gem I have is about 5mm in height, so I'll input the coordinates 0, 5 to reference that height. And press enter. And for the point on arc prompt, draw your cursor out to the right. Ensure that the location of the cursor where the point on arc, as well as the curve of the arc, doesn't project above the end point. So what that means is we don't want it to go up like this because we'll have a weird shape. Instead, keep it lower, below that end point, and click on the construction plane when done. We now have a nice smooth profile curve. Let's revolve the arc around the ellipse now to create the cabochon. Go to perspective view. Ensure that the cabochon layer is current. And let's zoom in a bit. Now input the real revolve command. For the profile curve, select the arc you just created. For the rail curve, select the ellipse. For the start of revolve axis, input zero, press enter. And for the end of rail revolve access, the location must be above the endpoint of the arc. So let's input coordinates 0, 0, 6. Press enter. And we now have a nice smooth surface on the construction plane. Let's take a look in ghosted view mode. However, the bottom of the surface isn't closed. So let's go ahead and close it off. Select the surface you just made. Input the cap command, and we've now created a closed poly surface. Now we're done. You now have the process to create your own custom cabochons. Start with the base form using your gem dimensions, and use an ellipse or circle as the rail curve. Then create an arc to form the profile curve, and revolve it to create the gem template. Pretty simple. Stay tuned for the following tutorial project, creating bezel settings.